Hey, what's up, Ultimate Immersion here. Many of you have been asking me how I do modding for Skyrim, so uh, I decided to make a complete tutorial for you. And today I'm going to show you how to turn vanilla Skyrim to a modded version I was using in all of my previous videos. First of all, I'd like to thank all of you for your support. It's really motivating to see how quickly this channel is growing, and we just passed 250 subscribers in the first month of this channel's activity, which is just amazing. Thank you very much. So what's really important is to start with a freshly installed game, like I have here. If you don't do this uh, and you had mods installed before, it's very likely that you have some scripts left or a texture box which can cause the instability for the new mod installation. So it's best to keep it as clean as possible. The second thing I really like to do is to have my mods numbered. The installing sequence is really important and because modding can go wrong far too many times due to compatibility, it's a good thing to have a chronological sequence because you may have to install them several times before you can make everything work perfectly. Also keep in mind that it's good to launch and test the game every few mods installed. Um, that way you can pinpoint the issues more accurately. So uh, first thing I'd like to do is to install the EMB itself. We're gonna head over to this site where we're gonna download the latest version of the EMB. And um, yeah, let's, let's just save it to the Skyrim folder. We're gonna extract the files here and uh, we're gonna be installing the wrapper version. Select all the files and just drag them to the Skyrim folder. Okay, we can close the RAR file now. And you can also delete the RAR file. We don't need it anymore. Next thing we're gonna do is the preset installation. And we're gonna just head out to a drive folder where I have uh, uploaded all the files of my presets. The link is in the description. First two files are Skyrim and Skyrim prefs. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these files to the My Documents folder. Okay, let's just save it here. Uh, let's just save it to the folder. and we're gonna replace both files. So after that we can just delete the RAR file. Okay, now we're gonna install the EMB preset. And Select all the files and download them. Save them to uh, Skyrim folder. And after that we're just gonna extract all the files and just replace them. And again, we can just delete the RAR. Now we're gonna install the Skyrim script extender. 
we're gonna download the installer version and just um, save it to the Skyrim folder. After that we just double click it and it will extract the files to the folder itself. We can just delete the installer now. Okay, from here on I'll fast forward the mod installation. It took me about half an hour to do this and I don't want to make this video too long. I want it to make simple and straightforward. But I'm gonna put the original version to the description in the link below, so you can check that out. What's really important with the modding is that you install all the mods in the sequence, like I said before. You can see all the mods uh, listed in the description below, and you can just follow the sequence. Okay, let's install the mods. Okay, now we're gonna be using the program called Loot. Uh, what it does is it automatically orders the mods. Actually, it arranges the load order, so they're all working together properly. 
Well, all we need to do basically is to uh, click on the sort plugin button here and it will do all for us automatically. After that, we just click apply if uh, the button shows up and that's it. This is the last thing I do, is to install the particles. There's a variety of files there. I'm gonna be using the particle patch all-in-one and the subsurface scattering patch. The installation is again really easy. We're just gonna download the files and just replace them in the Skyrim folder. So that's it. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and let me know in the comments below how this is working for you. Later!